G'day mates, I hope you're having a ripper day. You can now track your CPAP mask performance right here on the Sleep HQ dashboard. So today I thought we'd have a quick look at that. Um, we're on Bob's profile, g'day Bobby boy. And you can see here, he's added his Fisher & Paykel Viterra mask here to his profile. And we've got some statistics here. So we've got his average AHI. This is across all the nights he's using his Viterra. We've also got the average leak and the average pressure. Now on your profile, you'll also be able to click more here and it will provide even more information. Total time and large leak, total hours used, average usage and so on. Okay, so this is what it looks like and we can also click this little toggle here to flip between the machine statistics. We've got a house full of influenza B at the moment, not much fun. Um, and the mass statistics, okay? And if you didn't know, you can also do this with the vitality index up here to see how your results stack up against every other Sleep HQ member in the world. All right, so you can see here, Bob, currently in the bottom 15.87%. Sorry, Bob, with his Viterra mask, but let's go forward one day. And now he's switched to the Philips Respironics Dreamwear full face mask. All right, you can see the uh, stats have updated and we're gonna flip the Vitality. Now, he's in the top 3.62%. <laughs> so that just shows you the importance of the CPAP mask. And this is why um, it's really important that we track this information because you can go from zero to hero with a simple change of a mask. Um, let's go forward another day. And now he switched to the ResMed AirFit M30i. And he's in the top 41%. Okay, so you can see there, the mask really does impact your results dramatically. So you can add whatever mask you're using, you can track their performance and see how the results stack up against over 100,000 people in 160 countries worldwide, right? Pretty impressive stuff. Now, let me show you how to do this. So previously, when you were uploading your SD card data to SleepHQ, you just select your device and then upload the files. Now, you select your device, so I'm using DARF, and then you can also select your mask. So here's some masks I've added, and you can just click Add New Mask to add whatever mask you're using. I'm just going to click ResMed Air Touch today. And now you just drag and drop the SD card files into this box here. Click Begin Upload and you're good to go. You can also add them directly via your dashboard. So either here or here. So I'll click Set or Add a Mask. And I can just choose a mask here. So I'll just choose Fisher & Paykel. Update mask. Yeah. And there we go, I've added the Fisher & Paykel. So that's how you do it. And now if you click more here, this is where it'll show you all the performance statistics over on this side here. Now what's really exciting is within a couple of months, we'll be able to show you guys which masks are the winners and which masks are the losers the bench warmers. Now I know it's highly personalized, but I can tell you after fitting masks for 10 years in the sleep lab, you quickly figure out there are certain masks that are just proven performers and some you, you just avoid. And now we'll have the objective data right here on Sleep HQ, but we're also gonna marry that up with the subjective data, which is the feedback from the members to give you guys the tools to figure out which masks are the best and I wanna create a leaderboard. I wanna tell you which mask is the top performing mask on Sleep HQ. Um, that's my goal. So anyway, let me know what you think, guys. The platform's coming along nicely. We've got some great features in the pipeline, and we've got this one uh, secret project we're working on right now, which, wait for that. Just wait for that. That is going to revolutionize the entire industry. I can't say too much. Sleep well, look after your mates, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.